beat it. Just beat it. My beetroots are in water. Oh, hi, I'm Seb. This is the cam. Boom, this is Seb cam. <laughs> My beetroots are in water so that they stay alive longer. Isn't that clever? The spinach is in the window because it's cold in the window. Um, there's some apples and stuff. But look, this is what I wanted to show you. My banana stash. We've got a banana rotation on the go. So those are the most ripe on the top. The ones that are just kind of yellow like that, they're buried down below. And then ones like this green one, they'll go right down on the bottom of this box. And then I've got an entire backpack. This whole bag is full. Look. <laughs> and it's all dirty looking because it's splattered because it's been on my bike. I put all these bananas on my back, on my bike. You can't even really tell how big that is, or maybe you can. That's an 80 liter pack. I mean, you know, it's, uh, it's a lot of bananas. <laughs> but I keep them rotating around, and then to keep your bananas ripe, what you wanna do, or not to keep them ripe, what am I saying? What I'm saying, to ripen them quicker, keep them in cardboard, so I'll put the lid on there and I'll put a top on it, push it down. I've got this cardboard, I'll put that over it. So that it's breathable, you don't want sweaty bananas. It's breathable, but bananas are giving off like a ripening agent. I'm doing the action with my hand, ripening agent, ripening agent. And into the air, as I understand it, this ripening, whatever it is, microbe, I don't know, whatever floats around in the air. And if the box is open like that, it'll just float out. Woo! Woo! And it won't ripen as quick. So like that, that's another ripening technique that's going on there. So use brown paper bag kind of material or use cardboard boxes. That's my trick. My name's Seb. This is the cam. This is Seb Cam. I look like Robocop. <laughs> Peace. Oh, fruit. Boom. Boop, boop.